What's up guys, welcome to August's edition of Space Events. Let's get started. Let's start this episode by looking at what has happened ever since the last one in January. SpaceX's Screw Dragon capsule lifted off on March 2nd with their DM-1 launch and went to the space station and had no issues. A couple weeks later, the same capsule had an anomaly during a static fire test. Uh, that will push back their DM-2 launch and the in-flight abort test. Falcon Heavy had two launches, Arabsat 6A and STP-2. Both of these launches had were completely successful and both returned both side rocket boosters. The center core for both launches were lost, but for different reasons. One fell over at sea and another one did not land. Starhopper, SpaceX's test vehicle for a their upcoming rocket Starship performed many static fires and its first 20 meter hop on the 25th of July. On January 21st, I experienced a very cloudy lunar eclipse, didn't see it, but multiple people did see it and it was amazing. On July 2nd, there was a total solar eclipse over South America. Rocket Lab's Electron rocket had three launches. We also celebrated Apollo 50th and so much more has happened that I just can't get to in the video. Let's start with the events for August. To start with space sets, because they're always up to something, the Amos 17 launch will launch on the 4th of August from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. This launch will go to a geostationary transfer orbit, and the booster will be expended and not recovered. Going to Starhopper in Boca Chica, Texas, because of its hops last week were successful, Elon Musk tweeted on his Twitter that the 200 meter hop for Starhopper will happen in a week or so, week or two. Now, because that was a week ago when the when the Starhopper did hop for its 20 meter test. That means that the launch is in a week or so, or even less than a week from when this video goes up. Rocket Lab has a mission with the title Look Ma No Hands, launching this month from their launch site in New Zealand, Launch Complex 1. This will carry four satellites for the new constellation for Unseen Labs. This is going to be Electron's eighth launch. Going on United Launch Alliance's side of things, ULA will launch on an Atlas V 551 configuration, AEGF-5 for the Air Force Space and Missile System Center. These satellites will be used for secure connectivity between U.S. leaders and also the military. ULA also has another launch on the 22nd on a Delta IV. A test launch for the Soyuz family of rockets will happen on the 22nd. Without a crew on board, this will be testing the Soyuz 2 rocket variant. And now on to moon time. The full moon for the month of August will happen on the 15th, and the new moon will happen on the 30th. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you back for next month, September Space Events.